Hey guys, it's Kay. I hope you're all well and looking after yourselves. Now, if you like me and you like to indulge in foreign cultures and entertainment, then this video is for you, as I'm looking at a TV app that focuses on award-winning TV and movies from abroad. Now, this app has TV shows and movies from countries like Australia, Turkey, Mexico, France, Denmark, Canada, Russia, Germany and the US. Because as we all know, there's some great TV and movies out there in the world and the great thing is, all the content comes with subtitles. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, reviews and unboxings, I do everything including Fire Stick, Raspberry Pi and Android TV tips and tricks. So subscribe and hit the notification button. Ok guys, I'm going to quickly go through this app, showing you the features and the great options it's got, and then show you where you can install it. Now when you first open the app, you're presented with the following home screen. And up top, we're presented with a banner with the most relevant media content. Now you can scroll through this and if you're interested in any of it, you can click on it and it'll take you to the play page for that movie or TV show. So it's like a one stop for quick access to some great content. Now below that, we've got a listing of top 10 shows and movies. Now it's worth pointing out here that this top 10 will obviously change with time as more shows are added. And you can just scroll across these and pick one you're interested in or click on view all and view them in a grid format. And as you can see, we've got some exclusives here and movies from Spain, France, Belgium, Germany, Finland, quite an impressive selection from around the world. Now below the top 10, we've got a selection of new arrivals and obviously this lists out the latest movies and TV shows on offer. And again, we can view them in grid format. And for demonstration, let's choose Big Village Light, which is from Russia. Who'd have thought you'd be watching Russian TV? I'm already feeling like I'm a citizen of the world. So as you can see, you get some information about the program, including how long it is, the genre, and you get an age rating. You can click for more information and you can add this program to your favourites. And if you scroll down, it'll give you a choice of programmes you might be interested in based on the above programme. I think if anything guys, watching programmes from different countries gives you an insight into that culture. So even if you're never going to visit that country, you'll get a taster of the culture there. Ok, so below new arrivals, we've got the category Festival Darlings. Now let's take a look at one of these programmes. Let's scroll across and I'm going to choose this November. Now as you can see we also get the option of a trailer if it's available and if we click on more information we actually get some more information this time. Ok let's go back and take a look at that trailer. Click on trailer and as you can see we get a normal pause, play, fast forward, fast rewind buttons and importantly the subtitles are automatically applied and you can actually change the language of the subtitles. And the cool thing is you can speed up to 32 times and even at that speed you can see it's running pretty smooth which is definitely a good sign and what you expect from an official app. Ok, so clicking on the back button will take you out of the program. Now I'm also going to add this to my favourites. Now below Festival Darlings, we've got the Hidden Gems category, and again we've got a great selection of movies and TV shows. Wow, who thought Austria made TV shows and movies? And again, we can view all this in a grid format. Now the next category down is one of my favourites. It's Guns, Guts and Facial Hair. Never thought I'd come across such a category, but it does sound fun and apt when you take a look at what's in there. Sounds like a category that one of the new Mel Gibson movies would be in. Jokes aside, this is a pretty cool category. I particularly enjoyed The Kingdom of Shadows. Now below that category, we've got The Women of the World. Another great title choice for the category. And it contains some equally great movies and TV shows. For example, I watched Mama with Penelope Cruz, who of course is a Hollywood actress, and her performance for me wasn't diminished by having to read the subtitles. And I definitely recommend you watch this movie. Ok, so the next category below that is for a good time watch. Now what I will say guys, is that most of these movies are relatively new, like this one is 2015. So what you're getting with this app is a taste of world cinema, and all you have to pay is to watch a few adverts, which just takes up some of your time. An absolute bargain in my eyes. Now as you can see with this TV program, it comes in episodes, and they're all listed below in episodes and seasons. And as usual, to watch, you just click on the episode and it'll start up. And all the programs I watched on this app were in HD or better. And another cool feature of this app is that you can switch between episodes on the fly. Just bring up the pop-up menu and just slide across and select the episode you want. And they even show you some information next to the episode on the screen. Absolute class. Ok, so the next category below is Weird and Wild. And can I just say that most of these categories are very original in their titles. They definitely manage to catch your attention. And there's definitely some interesting titles here. Now below that category we've got murders and misdemeanors, which is quite self-explanatory. So if that is your cup of tea, you are in luck. 
And below that category, we've got unnatural selection, which does sound a bit ominous, but it does the job of pulling you in. And the next category below that is socially relevant. Not so catchy as the previous category, but nevertheless, still a great selection of movies and TV shows. And the next one down is Young and Reckless, like we all were once. Another fine selection of movies and TV shows. And lastly, we've got Globy Exclusives. The icing on a cake of a great app. Now if you click on the back button on your remote control, you'll get the following menu appear. So this is a quick menu to get you around the app. And the first item on it is Favourites. And this is where you'll find all your favourited TV shows and movies. And below that we've got Recently Watched, which is quite self-explanatory. And below that we've got our search function. And then below that we've got our settings options. And the cool thing here is you can add multiple profiles. So you can have a profile for your kids, where they can safely watch kiddie programs. And this is all managed under parental controls. And you can basically filter out what programs your child's allowed to watch. And these are all the program ratings here. And to stop prying minds, you can create a code, so only you can change the program listings for each profile. And another cool feature is the ability to manage all the devices that are connected to an account. Now if you do have any issues with the app, there is an FAQ section where you can find all the answers to your problems. And there's also a section telling you how and why they're able to make this app free. Now you can actually start watching online on any web browser by going to globy.tv. But if you prefer it on your devices, it's available on Apple TV, Roku, Samsung TV. Now currently it's available in the UK and the US only, but at the end of the year it should be available everywhere. And as it's an official legal app, you're going to get some quality TV from here. Okay, so getting this app couldn't be easier. It's available on all major platforms, including Google, Apple and Amazon. Simply go to your respective app store and type in Gobi. That's G-L-O-B-I. And it should be the first one that pops up. So select it and install it. And it won't take long as it's not a big app. And that's it guys. You've got Globy TV. And you're a citizen of the world. Now some of you out there might be thinking, Wow, what's all this tech jargon? I just want to watch movies and TV shows. I don't want to be messing around with my Android TV and installing apps and then inputting codes. Or some users might not even be that technically minded or bothered. All they want is the simple life. And for those type of users, there's a solution. And these are basically Android boxes sold as a full solution. You pay a one-off price for a lifetime of movies and TV shows. Now I've done a video review of one of these boxes and I'll link it in the top left hand corner now. And shortly I'll have another video coming up about another one of these boxes by a different manufacturer. So to catch these videos and more, give us a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you all in the next one.